Tangible Isco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. What I'm showing you here is a basic schematic layout of the antenna system that I would use if I went mountain topping on a band such as 20 meters, say, 14 megahertz band. I would use a one-half wavelength radiator, electrical one-half wavelength radiator. This should work fairly well for any band uh, 20 meters and above in terms of frequency, 14 megahertz, uh, 18 megahertz is it, 17 and so on all the way up through 28 and even 50 megahertz bands. One half wavelength radiating element. That's important. One half, not five eighths, not three eighths, but one half wavelength. Uh, you calculate that according to the familiar formula. Length in feet equals 400 and 68 divided by the frequency in megahertz. Then you have a resonant tank circuit, an inductance capacitance circuit tuned to resonance at the frequency that you want to work at, and a roller inductor preferably here so that you can vary the tap uh, at which the coax to the radio intercepts this coil. So you adjust this for resonance at the operating frequency and then adjust this until you get a one-to-one -one standing wave ratio here. That is an ideal one-half wavelength tuning network uh, or tuning network for a one-half wavelength radiator. Your ground system does not have to be very elaborate. It can just comprise a, a few radials, preferably a quarter of a wavelength long each, laid on top of the ground and possibly a short ground rod pounded in just to hold them there. But the impedance is so high here that you really don't need that much of a ground system. Now this isn't going to work with a whole lot of power, but I'm thinking about QRP mountain topping or at least quasi QRP say 10 watts or less quasi QRP why don't we call that um, Q Q R P quasi QRP low power 10 watts or less. This is the system that I would use and the earth doesn't even have to be that good of a conductor itself but it it would help if it were. This will give you quite a lot of DX if you have a clear shot in all directions from a high altitude and after all you are going mountain topping aren't you? You should be able to operate a battery powered radio. I say go for it if you have the energy, which unfortunately I at this point do not, but maybe you do. Good luck. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73, and so long, which, regardless of the antenna type, regardless of the location, band, power level, or anything else, always in my native fist translates into did da 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 da